So in a previous video, we showed you how to go through and just use the basic registration process within .NET Nuke 6.2. In this video, I'm going to show you how as an administrator, you can actually customize the registration screens. That's managed from the admin site settings page. So you're going to mouse over the admin menu in the control panel and click on the site settings page. Then once you're on the site settings page, we're going to click on the user account settings tab. Now, if you've used older versions of .NET Nuke, you'll recall the user account settings. Those could actually be found from the user accounts page through the, the actions menu previously. Well, now that, that information's all been moved up here into the basic site settings. So as in the older versions of DNN, our first option here, user registration, allows us to choose none, private, public, or verified. None means there's no registration process on your website. People cannot create accounts. Private means they can create an account, but they can't log in until they've been authorized or verified by an administrator. Public means anyone can create an account and they're immediately logged into the website. There's no real verification process going on there. And then the verified option allows people to create an account, but they can't actually log into the website until they receive an email with a special registration code. We're just going to leave it as public for now, but what we want to go ahead and do are, is use some of the other features here within the registration settings section. Now we'll come back in future videos and talk about the authentication providers and the ability to exclude terms and use a profanity filter. But what we're going to do in this video is use the custom registration form type. So out of the box, .NET comes configured with the standard registration form. We're going to go ahead and select custom. And then what we can actually do here is populate fields that we want to utilize within our custom registration form. Now, what this will allow us to do is essentially require two fields for the registration process, simplifying the process for over the standard registration. Now, if you want to see the additional fields that you can include, you can go ahead and mouse over the little information icon or click on that icon to pull up a list. And we could, we could see that we can provide a username field, email, password, confirm password, display name, and then all the various profile properties. Now, one thing to point out, these words, at least right now, are case sensitive. So lowercase email will not work, where you can put in uppercase email and uppercase password here. And this will require a user to put in their email address and a simple password. It simplifies the registration process on a .NET Nuke site. Now from there we can also require that users enter a unique display name. We're not currently using the display name in the registration, so we don't really need to worry about that. We can also set up a regular expression that will format or require a specific format of a, a display name. Same thing with username. We can validate a, a particular format. Now we'll go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on update. In doing so, that will save our registration settings here. So let's go ahead and navigate back to the home page and log out of the website as the administrator. Now, when we're logged out of the website as the administrator, if we click on the registration button, you'll see we have an email address and a password field. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new account for our navigator, Goose, and I'll put in an email address and a password here. Go ahead and click on register, and that account has now been created. Now it's missing some of the information about the profile, so our user control up at the top there doesn't have a username being displayed. We also haven't provided a profile avatar. We can go ahead and click on that empty area there. That will take us to our standard profile page in which we can then edit our profile. So at this point we can come in and populate some information about our new user that we've created here. And we'll go ahead and put in information like state city and we're not going to populate any of the other information except for the photo down at the bottom so we'll go ahead and choose upload file browse for a file and save that file now from here we can go ahead and click on update now because of that simplified registration process there are a couple of fields that need to be populated so when you do try to update your profile .NET Nuke then takes you back to this user credentials tab which we can provide the rest of the information that's required at this point that just happens to be the display name so I'll set up a display name of goose click on update and then we have now updated our profile information now we'll go back in here and just make sure that we choose the photo and unfortunately we have to choose the region information again because of that missing information on the previous screen 
and then we can go to the bottom click on update and we've now updated the information for this user if we were to go click on that username or display name again it'll take us to the public profile page here for our new user now there's additional options within the new registration process inside of dotnet nuke i'll go ahead and log out and log back in as the administrator account and you'll notice here on the login screen my login screen actually says email address instead of username there is an option within the registration settings that allows you to use an email address instead of a username within the registration process now that's actually an option that once you select it and you update your settings the option goes away it's it's enabled all for the rest of the time so it's not a checkbox that we can come in here and uncheck but if you were on a fresh install of dot nuke 6 you would find that here located around where it says require unique display name so you can go through and customize additional information within the registration settings section we're going to talk about more of those settings in future videos in the dot nuke video library